How you doing? Not too bad. Can you take me through that uh, touchdown pass? Yeah, uh, you know, obviously Will kind of got knocked, the, the wind knocked out of him, and uh, she called me in, and we called a go ball, and uh, they brought pressure in a cover two, and so I threw a whole shot to JJ, made a hell of a catch. Uh, you know, Trey made a hell of a pickup on the uh, blitz coming off the edge, and just all the pieces fell together. Kevin, how much confidence does it give you throwing the ball when you know you've got Jeremiah Smith out there? Yeah, it, uh, it, there's a lot of confidence that goes in that, you know, when in doubt, throw to number four, right? What? Yeah, I mean, that's just kind of what the brotherhood is, right? I mean, everybody's so happy for each other. At the end of the day, we, you know, we're there with one common goal to win as a team and celebrate as a team. So that was what went on. Devin, you know how important it is to take advantage of the opportunities that are given to you. So how good did that feel? Even though it was just one yeah. thing to get out there and to have that play. Oh, it felt great. You know, it was, it was a big time moment in the game, you know, right before halftime. So it was, it was a pivotal moment in that game to, to go on in there and uh, and do that. It was, it was electric. You mentioned it. How it's unreal. It's super nice. How do you compare a rep like that versus late in the game, game's already kind of in hand, you know, that's a that's a crucial play versus maybe later when you're you're still trying to run the offense, but it's there is difference, I imagine. Yeah, for sure. I mean, there's definitely a, a little bit of a different stress in your mind, you know, going in there and having to do that. Uh, I wasn't totally warm. I wasn't warm at all, honestly. My legs were super stiff, I, but... That's just, you know, competitive excellence. And when your number's called, you got to go out there and make the play. When you do get those opportunities to get in, do you view that as like, this is my audition for next year? Yeah, for, I mean, that's, that's any time you get in the game, I think it's an audition for next year or even for this year because you never know what's going to happen. You never know when you're going to have to be ready and when your number's called. Obviously, you want to be the starter. So what was it like when you were told, hey, Will's going to be the starter this year? Um, I mean, obviously, there's going to be a little disappointment, but at the end of the day, I'm, I'm here to be a Buckeye, and, and you know, I, I knew they were going to make the best decision for this team, um, and so I just got to keep doing everything I can in my power to get myself better and help this team. How do you embrace your role? You know, same way as I did last year, um, just just keeping myself prepared at all times, compare, uh, you know, preparing myself like I'm the starter, practicing like I'm the starter, and, and knowing at any moment I could be in in that game. Devin, how would you describe your relationship with Will Howard now? Oh, it's great. I would say me and Will are, are probably one of the closest, you know, two guys on the team. We're with each other from 8 in the morning until 8 at night every day, you know. So we've guilt, uh, you know, built a really good bond and we're, we're there for each other no matter what. What's one thing that you've learned from him? Um, you know, he's been playing college football for a long time. You know, he's had a lot of reps in the Big 12 and now in, in the Big 10. And being able to learn from him and see how he views, you know, our offense differently than he did at Kansas State, it's been super helpful for me. You mentioned it was good to have number four. What about number 32? <laughs> yeah, that's what I just said earlier. You know, he, he made a hell of a block on, on that nickel that came. And, you know, when you got 32 in the backfield, even one, like those guys are going to go out there and, and put their head on the line for you. How much does this game, this past game, validate the, the competitive excellence to staying ready for you? Yeah, I mean, th th like I said, it, it definitely validates that. You know, you never know when, when you're going to be called. And so we just always preach that every day. Devin, we hear a lot about the catch radius that Jeremiah has. Does it change at all your mindset when you're throwing a pass? Game? For sure. I mean, if you can put it out there in a spot that only he could possibly get it, he's going to end up getting it. Yeah. Was that kind of like what you were thinking or was it yeah. just go, go, go? No, yeah. I, I knew in that moment, you know, he was he was dying in the hole right there and it was his ball and nobody else's. You mentioned that importance of staying ready. What are the things you do to prepare yourself to be ready whenever you're playing? You know, I've, I've been in here at... 6.30 in the morning today, I come in early as possible, try to meet with Billy, try to meet with Coach Kelly as much as I can. You know, all the quarterbacks are in here trying to get as, as much reps as possible because, you know, I practice with, with five quarterbacks, not everybody's going to get the, the amount of reps that they'd like. So, you know, being able to prepare in that classroom and in the film room, it, it makes a difference going out there on the field. How do you think your role is similar to last year, but do you feel like you're a different quarterback than you were last year? Yeah, for sure, 1,000%. I mean, my, my mental state has been different. You know, my attitude towards the game has been different. Just my whole approach, I feel like, has been completely different. What can you, you learn about the approach you mentioned from last year? What, what can you learn about the approach from, you know, backing up Kyle last year to backing up Will this year? Is there anything that's different for you? Um, I wouldn't say it's, it's necessarily different. I think just the time is different. I feel like I'm putting a lot more time than I did last year. What's it been like uh, just seeing Julian, his development in the quarterback room? He's done a really good job. You know, as a freshman coming in here, I, it's not easy to, to come into a, a group of a lot of quarterbacks and have to compete with everybody, um, you know, because there's five guys that could play anywhere right now. So he's done a good job preparing and, and staying ready, too. Um, he, he has a really good knowledge for the game. He sees it very well, throws a great ball, so he's going to keep competing. What is that like in season, having five quarterbacks? I mean, obviously, there's only so many practice reps to go around. Yeah, I mean, it, it is what it is. You know, only certain guys are going to get reps, but everybody's ready to go, and everybody knows that at any moment, you know, like it happened in the game, you can be called in to go. Devin, how would you kind of assess the other guys you've gotten so far this season in the other games? Like, 
maybe things you liked, maybe things you didn't like? Yeah, I mean, there were, there were some, some good, some bad. You know, obviously it was by different plays. I would like to be better on some of the other things. Um, but at the end of the day, I'm overall happy. With Air getting his black stripe off, what was that like? It, it was great. You know, we were fired up for that guy. It's a big moment to get your stripe off and, to, you know, finally be validated as being a part of the brotherhood. Uh, it was a big moment for him. Viv, you might have been asked this before I got over because we were listening to Ryan Day, but not only did you go in the game, but then they called that pass. Mm -hmm. What did that tell you about, I don't know, the audacity of Ryan and Chip Kelly? but also of their faith in you, you know what I mean? Yeah, uh, I think that's a, a key point right there is that their faith in me. I think they, they're confident in my abilities and confident in my preparation to, to you know go out there and make big plays and win games for them. Did you just put your mind in a state? I mean, uh, how did you grip, grip that moment, I guess, uh, mentally? Uh, I mean, I, I really don't know. I just was like I was playing football, you know. It's, I've been doing it since I was seven years old and, and playing Pop Warner when my dad was coaching me. Um, so, you know, it really didn't feel like a huge moment. I know, obviously, it was a, a big moment in the game, but I had to trust my guys. I knew, that, you know, Trey was going to go make that block for me. I knew Jeremiah was going to go make that catch, so it was just out there having fun. You've been asked a lot about Jeremiah, but this receiving core as a whole, does this feel like as complete a receiving core as you guys have had here? For sure. I mean, when, when one goes down, there's going to be another one right there ready to go, and they're going to be you know, as, just as good, if not better. So having that, that, that big group, and it's so diverse with everybody and their, their different skill sets, but it's unbelievable. What's it like for an offensive player to see them, see Ryan Day and Chip Kelly being so aggressive on fourth down? It's great. We love that. You know, we, we think we can score on every play and we want to get after teams and, and show them how much confidence we really have in our offense to, to go get, you know, one yard or however long it is. What kind of advantage is that? I mean, you, you, can, you can go into a possession like we're going to take four, four plays on this one. I think it just it builds a confidence in the team, knowing that you know they know what we're going to run. Even if it's fourth and one, no matter what, we know we're going to stick our head down and go fight for that one yard. That just kind of you know shows how tough we are as a team. How warm were you able to get before you ran the game? <laughs> not, not totally warm. I, like I said earlier, my legs were pretty stiff. I got a couple throws, but that was about it. What are the biggest things you've learned from Chip this year? Oh man, there's been a ton. Uh, I mean, just the way he's had me approach the, the classroom differently and the mental preparation differently. Um, practice has been different. Um, the, the way that we do our run game has been completely different. I mean, the offense has expanded so much and so it's been incredible to learn from him. As soon as Will goes down, are you automatically up throwing? Yeah. I mean, even if he's down for half a second, do you just yeah. got to be ready? Yeah, for sure. That's why, you know, if, if you see us every time out, we're throwing too, trying to be ready. Yes. Yeah, what's this quarterback room like off the field? Bunch of really good dudes. I mean, guys that really care for each other, guys that just have fun. You know, we're always pretty laid back and chillaxed. And even in, in stressful situations, you know, we're there to help each other, you know, calm down and be ready for those moments. Is it important to have laid back guys in that room in such a pressured spot like the quarterback position? For sure. I, I think there's a lot of stress that goes into this position. And if you let it eat at you and you let it build, it just kind of affects your game. And so being able to relax and just kind of have fun and know that we have the abilities to do, you know, everything that we're asked of, it's, it's no stress. Yeah, when you mentioned the more preparation you're putting in this year, where is that paying off? Is it reading defenses? Like, how are you seeing that help your improvement? I think the biggest thing is it's just to slow the game down for me, you know. Um, when you go out there uh, anticipating instead of reacting, it's a completely different game. Who does the best impression of Chip Kelly in the room? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think anybody really does an impression of him, honestly. <laughs> you know, there's one thing to say you're going to be ready when the moment comes, but then you are and you do it. What did that do for you from an uplifting standpoint? Yeah, I was pretty fired up, you know, to, to be able to go out there and make that moment happen for my team and, and feel the energy from the sideline coming out after that play. I was pretty fired up, and it definitely builds a confidence in me going into, you know, whatever game we have next. How do you feel like you can build off of that moment? Like I said, I, I think there's just a lot of confidence that goes into that, and, and knowing that I can go out there and make those plays in big moments against the biggest teams, like, I'm just going to be ready. Is it a reminder that you do have to stay ready? I mean, obviously you knew this. Yeah. I mean, that was your whole point, but... Now it happened. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think last year, you know, there was never a situation where I had to do that. So so actually going through it and understanding what it's really like, I think it, it definitely, you know, puts it into perspective that I really do need to be ready at any moment. How, how did the moment Last Saturday question. kind of stack up? You had some times last year where you had the, the rushing test in a Purdue, Purdue go to sort of the, the, Is this a favorite or how did you compare to those? Oh, those man. Times? The rushing touchdown was pretty good. I think I was the most fired up after this touchdown. I, like I, me and Trey were laughing about this on Sunday morning during our lift, and uh, like we weren't even speaking English at each other. We were just yelling at each other, like screaming after the play. And I came over to the sideline when I sat down. I was like shaking because I had so much adrenaline going. It was just a crazy moment. What made this one extra special? Um, 
I think just, just knowing that I didn't know I was going to go in, um, you know, didn't know when I had to be ready or anything. I think it was just I was called and I made the play. So more than the, last the deep shot last year. The one to uh, the BI or the uh, Carnell one? Either. <sighs> yeah, I mean, that was the first touchdown pass, so that was pretty fired up. But, no, th I think that one I was the most fired up for because I literally, like, had the craziest adrenaline dump. Like, I was shaking. I thought I was going to throw up. I was just, like, so <laughs> juiced up. Like, I was just, I don't know. Did that just happen, right? Yeah. Is that literally the feeling? It was funny. So, so Trey, like I said, Trey went and made that block. And after I threw the ball, I turned around and he got off off the floor and we both just ran at each other. I guess my mom said like I jumped up and did the splits or something like I, I, <laughs> like in the air. I, I really don't even remember. It was just a, a blur. Devin, thank you. Thank, thank you. you